Hello, I'm Karen Ongley. I'm here today with Reza Mogadam, Head of the IMF Strategy Policy and Review Department. Welcome, Reza. Thank you. The 2011 annual meetings come on the tail of renewed turbulence in financial markets and increased risks in the global economy. How do you think these developments will influence the meetings? The annual meetings are taking place at a critical time in the global economy. There is widespread concern that the global economic recovery is losing momentum. So I'm certain that the ministers, the governors, will come to these meetings with that concern uppermost in their mind. And the key for the fund is to facilitate discussion of these issues. And we have uh, two innovative products this time. The first one uh, is a consolidated multilateral surveillance report. It tries to bring the themes of all our multilateral and bilateral surveillance together to assess the state of the global economy and put forward options, solutions on how to deal with the problems. And the second one is an action plan by the managing director which tries to put forward ideas on how the fund can help its membership to respond to the challenges they, they face right now. So what guidance do you expect on how the IMF's policy advice could be more effective? I see discussions in probably three areas. First, uh, surveillance. We have just undertaken a major review of our surveillance function and we will be putting on the table ideas on how to improve our surveillance further, how to make it more relevant in a way, how to make IMF surveillance as interconnected as the world economy itself. So I expect that the ministers, the governors will uh, look at those proposals, will, will uh, give us ideas on what they are looking for from the fund. The second area is the fund lending. I think uh, the fund lending has played a critical part in terms of supporting the global economy at a very difficult uh, period. We currently have programs in uh, more than 50 countries, almost a third of the membership. And we will be looking to see how the ministers would like to uh, improve the fund lending. Do they see any gaps uh, there? The final area is fund governance. As you remember, in 2010, the, uh, the, uh, the membership agreed on a major overhaul of the IMF uh, governance structure. Uh, that reform is supposed to be concluded by the next annual meeting, so this is a perfect time uh, to take stock. So how will the impact of global economic developments on low-income countries factor into discussions? The low-income countries have been very effective in dealing with the fallout of the global economic crisis. They had built policy space to respond to the crisis and the fund was able to increase substantially its concessional uh, lending. Now a lot of that policy space has been exhausted. So if the global economic recovery does indeed lose momentum, many of these countries may face difficulties. So we need to be prepared to have sufficient concessional financing in order to support them and they also need to be able to build this policy space as we move forward. So what are the key outcomes that we can expect from the meetings? The annual meetings are a unique occasion. You have uh, policy makers, ministers of finance, central bank governors from 187 countries coming together to discuss the issues they face. The aim is to provide a forum for dialogue, a forum for understanding the issues that each other face but hopefully it could also be uh, an occasion to chart a way forward in terms of dealing with the global economic difficulties that we face. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.